Hey guys, what's up, Roman here from Tech Guides, and Battlefield 2042 has finally, finally launched. I cannot tell you how happy I am about this product, as I've been waiting for a decent successor to Battlefield 3 for almost 10 years now. However, in its current stage, the game is completely unplayable on so many different systems, mine included. And keep in mind, I have an i9-9900K and an RTX 3070, so this game should just run fine, absolutely no problem whatsoever. But still, I'm encountering lag spikes, stuttering, and especially aiming feels completely inconsistent. It essentially feels like you're aiming with a wet noodle. So in today's video, I'm going to give you a very small tip that hopefully help a lot of people out there that are also struggling with performance on reasonably high-end gaming machines um, to obtain higher performance in Battlefield 2042. So while running the game, I realized that my CPU usage would be absolutely packed, whereas my GPU didn't really break a sweat. You can also see that in the footage in the background right now, MSI Afterburner reports um, the GPU sitting at a comfortable maybe 80%, whereas the CPU is around 40-50% or even higher. Obviously, with such a graphically demanding game as Battlefield 2042, you want the GPU to do the work. Especially if you have a 3060, 3070, 3080, you want that thing to be packed at 100%. Now, simply trying to decrease in-game settings to, say, low, didn't really help the situation much. The game did get a little bit more playable, but honestly, the game looks almost completely identical on low or ultra, and the performance also doesn't improve as you would expect. However, there is one thing that you can change, which significantly will improve performance, especially on newer or high-end gaming PCs, and that is to enable DirectX 12. As you can see in the comparison shot right here, on the left-hand side with DirectX 11, my GPU barely ever exceeds 85% usage, whereas when I'm running the game in DirectX 12, you can see that the GPU is finally where it's supposed to be at almost 100% usage. On top of that, you can see that I'm getting around 20 to 30 FPS more by simply running the game in DX12. So how can you change the game to run in DirectX 12? Well, unfortunately, this is not possible through the in-game menu for some reason. This used to be possible in previous titles. But with Battlefield 2042, for some reason, we'll have to change the settings file in order to enable DirectX 12. So if you want to do that, go to Documents, Battlefield 2042, Settings, and open the profsafe underscore profile file. And if you search for DX12, you find the GST render.dx12 enable option, which by default is set to zero, and you can enable it by setting it to one. Now, while going through these options, I realized that there's also a setting for weapon DOF. Now, if we go in game and we look at the settings, then we can't really find any settings regarding the weapon depth of field, which by the way is enabled per default. And I think this is just a hunch that this blurring of the weapon actually does contribute to the lag spikes that you sometimes have when you ADS in BF2042. So my suggestion then would be to also disable weapon DOF in your profsafe profile file. Now here's kind of a legacy setting which was in Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 and led to mouse acceleration in these games. And I'm actually not entirely sure if it also improves mouse acceleration in BF2042 because honestly, as soon as I enabled DirectX 12, I didn't have weird aiming issues anymore. Um, but anyways, some of you guys, this might actually help if you set GST input scheme zero sensitivity to zero as well as the scheme one and two sensitivity to zero as well. Now playing in DirectX 12 has just been an absolute breeze because the game feels super responsive. I feel like my aim is going exactly where I want it to go. It's not a, such a noodle aim as it was in the beginning and the frame drops have decreased significantly. However, note that I'm still getting the yellow um, CPU times from time to time in the top right corner. Um, by the way, if you don't know how to enable this overlay, you can simply uh, press the uh, tilde key, which is the one next to the one key and type in draw enable uh, FPS and then a one. 
uh, which will enable the FPS overlay where you can see kind of your, your frame times for the CPU, for the GPU, and actually also the simulation time. So I think this is a tick rate. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but anyways, there you can see if uh, you are CPU or GPU bound, uh, whenever you get the red or yellow numbers from either of these two, then you know which kind of bottleneck you're currently hitting. However, with these fixes, I could definitely feel a huge improvement both in performance and in the reduction of these random jitters and stutters that the game would throw at me before I enabled DirectX 12. So definitely do give this a shot and tell me in the comment section below if this helped your game or not. But that's it for today's video, guys. Um, there will be another video coming up where I'm going to show you some of my favorite in-game settings because some of the default settings are kind of weird weird choices dice um, but there are so many settings um, in this game that it can be a bit overwhelming to find the perfect settings so before the game will fully launch next week i'll have another video up where i'll show you my favorite settings that definitely help to make the game so much more enjoyable than with the standard settings that the game ships with but that's it for today i hope this video was helpful if it was leave a like if it wasn't leave a dislike oh never mind we can't see them anymore <laughs> thanks for watching have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next video.